Hi, this video is going to be showing me removing the needle bar slash rocker arm assembly unit from this part of the, the front face. And then after that, I'll take out the presser bar and all the associated um, parts, you know, that, that need to come out and, and the linkages. And, and so there now it's ready to get, uh, you know, really cleaned up there in that, in that area there. So that's what this video is going to be. It's going to be about getting this stuff out, getting to the point where it can start to clean it. And then video after this, or show the parts all getting cleaned because that's going to be a, there's a lot of parts. So yeah, it's a, the restoration continues. Enjoy the video. Hope you learn. Hope you have fun. Starting from the top, there is that top stud. That is a set screw to release and unlock that. So that comes out. This screw on the bottom is a slot head screw. And there is also a set screw here. That has to be undone. That has to be undone. I believe that has to be undone or at least loosened. And what I'm going to do is I have to undo this screw, this set screw. There. Now I'm expecting because this machine is so filthy that I might have to pry that out of there a little bit. But then again, I was uh, overlooking the dandy tube there, like I mentioned earlier. And he said uh, that this is a long set screw. So let me try that. I th I'm thinking that it should be enough. There we go. So, so there, I'm able to pull that out. And then I saw that come loose, but I can't get it out yet. I have to undo that one on the bottom, I might have to get a, uh, you know, a side, uh, side screwdriver. Okay, that one's a little tight. I'll, let me try this one. Oh, that one was loose. Let me get another screwdriver. There we go. Cool. Oh dear, that one came out. I didn't want to bring it out all the way. Okay, there. I caught the thread there. Now I'm going to undo this one. That seems loose. Now I have to get that one. We'll see. Look at that. We got contact. See, I'm thinking that that should be undone. Oh yeah, I've already loosened that one. That one's undone. I haven't loosened that yet, but I don't need to. That's already out. So what I'm wondering is, if I can push the needle bar up. There, I knocked that screw out. Where did that one come from? It came from there. So, since it came out of there, let me leave it out for a minute. See, it has to be unscrewed, right? You know what, maybe it doesn't. That's a spring. Not a thread. Okay, that came out. That's undone. This is undone. This one is tight. And I've got to find a, where's my set? So I've got this little Chapman ratchet set. It's a little stiff, but it is moving. It's loosening, yeah, it is. It's not coming fast enough. Yeah, so I tapped it with the hammer up here. You missed it, I didn't turn the, I didn't turn the darn camera on. So now I'm at this stage and I'm yank, kind of pulling this out with the uh, coaxing this out with the, uh, okay right away I can see that that spring that fell down I still haven't removed it. It is right there. What can I do now? What I have to do now I think is I have to undo that. And the way to get that free See, this is a connecting link. This is already loose on this bar, which doesn't necessarily need to be anymore. But, well, we'll just leave it. It's not gonna fall out. But it's a connecting link and there's no thread. All I gotta do is pull it. But because it was so gummed up and filthy, both in there and on here and in there, that's why it was so difficult. Now my next job is to I'm also going to remove that, but for, you know what, I'm going to take that out and then that'll be the end of this video. Once I get that out and then I'll start another video where I get in there and clean. 
I got this thing loosened with these pliers. And it did loosen it. So it's off. I'm going to leave that in there. Just like that. And the next thing I want to do is I want to remove the pressure bar. And that, that, all the pressure bar stuff. So it's coming along. I've emptied out a lot of that cavity there. What I'm going to do now is get this pickup lever off and get that out of there. There's a spring in there towards the tension device. Oh, that's tight. That is tight. Let me try and remedy that again. There we go. Oh, that's sticky. That's still tight. Boy, oh boy, it was bunged up in there really good. Because the threads are in deep. Because this end is blank. There's no threads at this end. Can we get that out of there? I sure can. So I'll put that there. I'll take the lever out. Can I take this out now? Let me move this out of the way. Oh, there's a screw here for that. And it's got a washer on it. It's a long screw. <laughs> and it goes there. That screw goes there. Yes. This can come out now with the spring. Being careful not to dislodge that spring. And then I'm going to put that back in there with its washer so that they're safe. I'm going to leave that there for now. Cool. This was the lock washer that went up here when that was up here like that. And it came off of there broken. And I was looking, nothing fell, nothing saw, nothing heard, you know, nothing ricocheted, so it was in there broken already. So I'm just getting bags, I got baggies, and I'm gonna put the parts in and they won't get lost. And they're gonna get cleaned real soon. And then in this magnetic tray is where I have all the, the needle bar rocker bar assembly. So that's gonna get cleaned real soon. Now I can get in here and clean up this, start spraying in here. I've almost got the electrical out. Um, I can't move the light receptacle yet, so I may end up just putting plastic and shop towels over the plastic and uh, going ahead and soaking inside here anyway. I'm gonna be using this Jigaloo, and uh, this was referred to me down in the marina in the boatyard a few years ago. The other thing I also have is um, mineral oil, and that's what I actually have in here. What I need to do is get a couple of shop towels and then I'll just get the Jigaloo, put the spray wand on it on the front. There, I'm gonna let that sit for half an hour. I've loosened this screw so that I can pull the pickup lever off of there. So I'll see if it'll come. I may have to undo the pickup lever down here a little bit too, but for now, put some mineral oil in there. So I think if I want to get it off, it's got to come out of there. Will it come now? No, and I think that's a reverse thread. Wow, it's a really thin thread. A slot. Yep, righty loosey, lefty tighty. So that's where that came from, right there. Now what? Will this come now? Well, I'm going to have to play with that, figure out how that comes off. So I've got the screwdriver sitting right down there in the access hole to access that screw. So I definitely want to get in a little closer because, because, because I want to undo this screw. Now I've got this little screwdriver in there, so while it's there, I'm just going to see if I can hold that solid. And I'm not I can feel a bit of traction, but not much. Let me put this other one down. Got it. Is it gonna come? Let me get my needle noser. 
So the machine is gummed up. Indeed. Now it's, that screw is just starting to clear the steel there. Yeah, look at that. Pivot screwdriver. Let me get the... Ay! Jeez, that's dangerous. I dropped the lamp, the bulb broke, and it's still burning. Okay, I gotta take a break and clean up some glass. That was wild. The lamp fell off onto the floor on the rug, a utility rug, and the bulb broke. The filament and the bulb was still lit, and there's no fire, there's broken glass. I gotta clean up the broken glass. Wow, safety first, last, and always. All right, my little emergency is uh, resolved. I'm just going to gently see if I can pull this out of here with my fingers and the pliers. Came a bit. There, that is gummed up. Look at the gum there, eh? So that's out of there now. So that's cool. I'm gonna leave the set screw in there. Maybe tighten it up just a tad. You know what, I'll put, where's that oil? <clears throat> this is oil in this can. So, there I've got a flood of oil there, there like that. Back it off a little. And then what I'm gonna do is get a Q-tip, get some of that oil, go on in there. For starters, I'm sure I'm going to have to, you know, use uh, like credit cutter or more oil in there or something. Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, now I can clean. I mean, I've already started with uh, the whatever that, what is that stuff called? This stuff here. It's called Jiggaloo. But anyway, so I'm going to be able to to get that all tidied up in there, and then I have two bags of parts. I've got a baggie. Of, uh, I've got a baggie of presser parts and I've got a baggie of needle bar slash rocker bar assembly unit and uh, there I've got the microphone back on my shirt now. So yeah I'm really pleased there's been some uh, challenges. The, the, the audio issues clearly were, were an issue for, for a number of hours but you know everything's moving forward and this is it's getting cleaner slowly but surely and it does smell nicer because I'm using um, you know to clean it up as well as regular sewing machine oil and all that stuff I also use uh, uh, mineral oil and it's got aloe and vitamin E and it's scented and it makes it smell nice but it's still grubby and it needs cleaning. I'm going to finish cleaning that and then I'm going to get into my parts. So the next move, the next vid will be about cleaning the parts, having that all cleaned and then the, the back part of that video or the video after will be about in replacing and putting in all the clean shiny parts into this cleany shine area of the, the sewing machine. By that time I'll have the wiring out and I'll go in there get the top done and then I want to come back and attack that that hook and bobbin down there because it's a disaster zone. That whole area was totally very firmly impacted and compacted with with decades of dust and grime and whatever. It was absolutely quite amazing. I couldn't believe the stuff I pulled out of there. Onward and forward. I hope this video was useful for you and uh, my only request is that you guys stay safe, have fun, take care of yourselves and I hope that you all come back to, to see my next video, which will be about me cleaning up the parts that I took out of the front end here. And uh, then, of course, after they're cleaned, it'll be, they have to be reinstalled, put back in, and then I'll move on to other areas of, of this machine. There's uh, obviously the, the hand wheel, balance wheel end, there's the, uh, horizontal arm shaft up top and there's there's a hook uh, area that really needs some attention but once again uh, great that you could be here and that I'm here too and, uh, and, and that the machines are here and uh, we'll see you next time